welcome. I thought today that we could just make a big mess because sometimes it's kind of fun to be a little messy. So let's play a game. I want you to try and guess how long you think it will take me to empty out this toothpaste all over my kitchen counter. Do you think I can empty it in two seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, a minute? What do you think? All right, get a guess in your, get a guess in your mind and let's see how long it takes. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I think that's about empty. And I think it was about 10 seconds, give or take a little bit. All right, let's see. So, wow, that's a mess. All right, now let's try and guess how long you think it'll take me to put all this toothpaste back. Okay, do you think it's gonna take another 10 seconds to put it back? Let's see. Okay, uh, let's start counting. I'm, while I'm doing this, can you count for me? Okay, ready? Right, let's try to get it back in. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll grab a spoon here. Right, let's try to get it back in. That's not, it's not going back in. Okay, keep counting. going in at all. Let me, oh, here. Let me get something else. I'll get a butter knife. Let's see. Oh. Oh, I can't get any of it back in. You know, this is kind of like when you say something that is maybe mean or bad or hurtful or untrue. It might only take you two seconds to say something and make a mess of a situation. Um, but once you say it, it's out there and it's really hard to, to put it back. Ephesians 4 verse 29, it says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those. As the school year's coming up and getting ready to start, I know, it's, I know it's only the beginning of August and you probably aren't thinking about school just quite yet, but it's gonna be here really soon. And as the school year starts up, I kinda have a challenge for you. I want you to try to only say things that are good, that are honoring to God, that are helpful, that build other people up. I promise you, if you catch yourself before you say maybe gossip or a mean comment to somebody or something that isn't true about somebody, if you stop yourself before you say that and if you practice only saying good, positive, helpful, uplifting things, not only are you gonna be really honoring God, but you're also gonna be a better friend, a better family member. I mean, who doesn't want to build up the people around them in a positive way? So I think that would be a great way to, just as you're living your life every day for the glory of God, to practice always just saying things that are, that are nice, that are good, that are helpful, that are truthful, that are uplifting, that are praises to God. Can you pray with me, please? Dear God, thank you so much for loving me. I know that sometimes I do say things that aren't the best thing to say, that aren't nice sometimes, and thank you for forgiving me when I do that. Please help me, God, to only say things that are good and uplifting and that bring glory to you. I love you. I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Thanks so much for being here today. Um, I have a mess to clean up. I'll see you next time.